going to tell you about the process applying for the NCLEX exam. There's going to be two things, two separate issues I'm going to be dealing with. The first one here should be our end website www.rn.ca.gov. That's where you will access the form. When you go to the BRN website, on the home page, it has a little link that says online application. You can click that one, it will bring you right to the online application. What if you prefer a hard copy? and mailing that yourself as opposed to doing it online. You will go to forms, and then you will click on the document title is application for licensure by exam. Everyone will click on either online or the hard copy. Under forms, you're gonna click on request for life scan service form. This is the um, fingerprinting form. Everyone needs to do that form. If you're doing it online, you'll download the form once you get your fingerprints completed. If you're doing the hard copy, obviously, you'll mail it off with your application. And you can do fingerprinting over on the 7th Street parking garage down on the main level, main floor. They do live scan fingerprinting. So, and on the um, live scan fingerprinting form, you just want to fill out where the red X's are, nothing else. Leave everything else, and I don't, it's a PDF form, I don't think it'll let you do anything else. And you'll print out three copies. And then you take three with you to the place that you'll be doing fingerprinting, and they should give you back one, one will go automatically, so they say, but verify that, because I'm not positive, and then um, you will get a copy to keep. Keep it with your important, paperwork. Also make a copy of your application before you send it off. Or save a copy if you're doing it online. Okay? That's the most important thing. And the reason I'm touching on the application first is because I have learned, because the board is really backed up with applicants, they're also extremely short-staffed. So I have been told to start the process with your application, get, get the application in immediately. They'll start a file on you with the application. And then the paperwork that I send can follow up. But the sooner you get it in, the sooner you're kind of in their system. If that makes sense to everyone, okay? So do the application as soon as you can. You don't have to wait for anything else on that end. And just get it into them. If it's a financial um, hardship, because I know there is you know, cost involved in applying, because what you're doing is you're paying for your license when you submit this application. It will not be the end of the world. It doesn't mean you won't get your license. It may be a little slower process for you. I did notice also when going to their website, they now have information on processing times. And so basically what they're saying in California, it's 10 to 12 weeks processing. And it was up, this was updated on February 16th. I'm sorry, February 3rd, sorry, 2016. <laughs> and so it's 10 to 12 weeks for them, once they've received your information, to start you know, doing, getting you a file, getting you in their system. But if we are way ahead of the game, you even send it by March, you will not be graduating till May. It should be fine. But just, I'm trying to give, you guys the optimum opportunity to get your stuff in there and get them rolling with you. I don't care about other schools, I only care about us, <laughs> okay? So what, I, now this is the part I do. So all this information I've given you in this packet, this is my little piece. The very three, four pages are basically information only. Cost, kind of a flow chart, et cetera. If you turn to the last two pages, the first page I want you to look at is the individual candidate roster director approval form. You're going to fill out the top portion, and then on the back, double-sided form, you're going to list all prerequisites for the nursing program not taken at San Jose State. At a community college, at another state school, you're going to list those. 
And then you're going to order official transcripts sent to you from these schools where you took prerequisites. Prerequisites only, and only for the nursing program. We don't need any other transcripts than that. Okay, so if you took an art class at Foothill, we don't need that transcript. We're just providing the board with information on prerequisites only. You're gonna bring in this form and your transcript to me. And I'm going to make a deadline since you guys are gonna get your applications in and that will start the ball rolling. Um, I'm gonna make a deadline of, we're gonna allow at least a month for you guys. So I'm going to say, what, March. You're here on Fridays. Fourth. Fourth, that will be fine or we can even do it. I'm sorry. 11th is the week after. Okay, let's do the, let's say the 11th. You can bring it in to me before, that's not a problem, but I'm gonna mail them out in a group. It used, the rule used to be they wanted them about a month before you graduated, but because I talked to someone there and they kind of gave me a hint on getting things in sooner, we're gonna be several months ahead before you graduate. Yes. I have a quick question um, for like the public health nursing. Okay, I will give you that after. Okay. Because you can't apply to that till later. <coughs> okay, so this is the first form. And as we said, we're gonna use that target date of March 11th. So go ahead and order transcripts or prerequisites, fill this out, bring it to me. <coughs> the second form is request for transcript. You're gonna fill out the top portion, sign and date it. You're gonna turn this form into me along with your candidate roster form. This form I send to the BRN with your sealed official transcript with your degree posted. Okay, I will be holding on to this for quite a while. You will, now you can request it now, but or you can request it later. It's totally up to you. I know you have a lot on your mind, so it's when you can remember, request a final transcript with degree posted from San Jose State. You can do that online. And you're gonna have it sent to me. And you just put Diane Garrity School of Nursing, HB 420. Yes. Do we have to wait until we finish the semester? <coughs> you do not. You can just make certain when you're ordering the transcript, because this happens every semester, you plug in with degree posted, not final grades. It tends to default to that particular choice. Overwrite it. You should have a little drop down or somewhere you can type with degree posted. And then once I receive that final transcript or degree posted, and I already have this form. <coughs> I fill out the bottom portion with the information. Dr. Abram Yago signs it, and it goes off to the board. The only thing this form will do will release your scores to you. Has nothing to do with you sitting for the NCLEX, taking the NCLEX. It only will release your scores. And they have been so good in admissions and records on getting me these so quickly. And they're processed immediately and mailed out. I send them certified mail. I have record when they've been received. Now after that, I can't, I have no control out to quickly they plug them in, but at least we get them to, yeah, very quickly. Yes. So the transcript that has the, with the degree posted, what's that, that's available, available to us right now? Well, or, no, I mean, you right. can request it, okay. but it won't, degrees won't be being processed probably till maybe the second week of June, you know, they'll yeah, start. Yeah. The admission records have to go through your records with a fine tooth comb, making sure you have every course needed to award you a degree. Right. And then I'm gonna say I'll probably start getting those about the end of June. Okay, but you most likely will not get your ATT authorization to test until about mid-June, end of June maybe. Now, this is my little disclaimer. If you, uh, you know, you're applying to the board and if for some reason, they send you something, an authorization to test in April. No, I mean, it would be a clerical error, obviously. It's only, I've only had one student that it happened to, and we're able to fix it, because of course she clicked on it, naturally, and she hadn't graduated yet. Her degree was not awarded yet. So you do not want to take the exam not having your degree because forever you will be a non-degree registered nurse. And you didn't work this hard 
to, <laughs> at that last minute, click on the wrong box. So just in case, I doubt it would happen, because again, they're so backed up, chances are probably slim to none, but just in case, keep it in the back of your mind, you don't want to jump on that. Okay, yes? And then just to be 100% sure, you said have that official transcript mailed to you in HB 401? Uh, yes. Okay. And we well, a Health Building Room 420. 401's a conference room. HB 420. Diane Garrity. They, they know me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say. Uh, probably not a good thing. Yes? But all the other transcripts from other schools were mailed to us personally. Only for prerequisites. Okay. Yes, you have a mail to you personally. Or if you have copies at home that are sealed, you can give me those. It doesn't matter. Just they, they now want a sealed transcript verifying prerequisites. And I think this happened because people would list things and then couldn't back it up with a transcript. They kind of took it on an honor system and that didn't work out. So you want to make sure you have the transcript mailed to you, then bring it in to me and I mail it to the board. And that will be that March 11th. But if you have it sooner, bring it in, I'll process it, and I'll be doing group, the huge group mailing on March 11th. Okay, yes? So uh, I just uh, summarized that. Uh, now we can go online and do the NCLEX application. You can do the application for licensure. Yes, now that's your report. Yes. Uh -huh. And you'll need, now you're going to need a payment, you're going to need the fingerprinting, and you do need a passport photo. But you can go to Costco. Um, and get one of those. You don't, you don't have to go to a professional photographer. <laughs> Just make certain that, you know, follow the directions. They want it specific in a specific size. You know, not you standing out by the ocean waving and knowing you really decipher who you are, that sort of thing. So, you know, a face file. Yes. In the past, you used to tell me that you could ask for that transfer from San Jose State, but they said one to be I, I was going to tell them that, if they wish, but I don't like people to have to spend extra money if they don't want to. Okay, when you're ordering the um, official transcript, which will be posted, you may want to order some extras for yourself. That way you know if you've gotten it, most likely I've gotten it, but I don't want to put a hardship on people saying, here, spend some more money. So that's a personal choice. It's always good to get them because you'll never know if you need one when you're applying for a job the very next day and you're gonna to have to wait a few days to get one, at least. So it's just something to keep in mind and that's a personal choice. So I'm not saying yes, no, I'm just saying it's an option when you're ordering, order a couple for yourself, put them in a safe place and that way you have them. Okay, yes? Um, for the passport photo and the fingerprinting, uh -huh. Do we scan that document in? I believe you do scan it. Unfortunately, I, I've tried to go into the online application, and because it, it stops me, because, <laughs> so you may want, because I'm not an applicant. So you may want to see, but I, it has to be, you have to be able to scan it in. Okay. Yeah, and as I said, I believe the fingerprinting, they used to just send them directly to the agency. So, and some agencies do that for licensure like CNA, I don't, I'm not sure about the board, but I think they do go automatically. But you'll want to double check when you do your fingerprinting. Okay. Because I get mixed messages on that. Yeah. Okay, and the next thing I want to talk about is public health nurse certificate. I do have the forms in my office. Um, it's going to be almost the same thing with the, um, there's an application and now they've raised the price to 150, so just be aware it's 150. You, um, but it's a good thing to have. You don't have to apply once you graduate. I mean, you can apply months later. If you don't think you'll ever need it, it will always be there, meaning you had the, the um, coursework to get the certificate, okay? Um, and then you're gonna request a final transcript with degree posted and have that sent to me and you're gonna fill out the request for transcript form, just like the BRM form that I showed you that's in your packet, but I know Bridge students don't have it. Form looks like this. Bridge students, you can, I'm more than happy to give you the application, but you're gonna wanna hold on to it until, you know, degree is posted, yes. So we just want to do it all at once, so we order the two. You okay. could do you that, could and you could, you could hold on. I can give you the application for public health nurse. You can hold on to it, and then when you get that final transcript, you also have to have, have class the NCLEX exam. That's the other piece of it, which I hadn't got to yet. So those are the two things. Have be licensed as a registered nurse and have your degree. That 
choice to bring and your city. Okay. So would you rather we wait until we can be in class and submit the application to you then? You, I can give you the forms now and you can hold on to them. It's fine. It doesn't doesn't matter to me one way or the other, and I'll be happy to show you how you fill out that form. <coughs> it's pretty easy. But just remember, you can't do anything until you've got the license in hand and the degree in hand. Okay, any other questions? Yes. I'm just wondering, you're saying like best case scenario, if everything goes well and we get our forms in, um, mid to end of June would probably I'm going to say probably the degree, the final trans. This has nothing to do with taking the NCLEX. Yeah. They probably won't be offering you an authorization to test until the end of June. Okay, and then you know, mid to end of June, and then transcripts I should be getting probably end of June. Okay. It's it's a little different than the um, people who graduate in fall because mm -hmm. there's not as many people graduating in fall. There's a bigger glut of nursing schools graduating in the spring. Sure. So. And once you get the ATT, are there test dates all the time, or is that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. There's like at least every week, at least several options of where to take it. Yeah. It's okay. it's a com as I understand it, it's a computerized okay. exam. So there's different locations. Okay. So yeah, it's not just one, and then there's not another one for nine months or something. <laughs> no, no, that's good to know. Yeah. I'm just to plan my summer. Yeah. Take a look. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.